have seen a picture on social media of a baby with second degree burns from a garden hose that was left in the sun. It happened a few years ago in Arizona, but a Las Vegas fire rescue page reposted it to remind people of the dangers as we move into the hot days of summer. Eric Zernick tells us what you should do to prevent something like this from happening in your family. Similar to a car heating up to dangerous levels in the hot sun, water left inside a garden hose can also reach extremely hot temperatures. It doesn't take but 30 minutes for that hose to really start heating up. We saw an increase of about 30, 40 degrees just in a matter of 30, 35 minutes. And you leave that hose out all day over a period of several hours, um, that hose will significantly get between 130, 140 degrees. Water at temperatures that high can definitely cause harm to a person. Easy second, third degree burns on any body or any pet. Now you might be thinking your hose is okay because you have it rolled up next to the house in the shade, but that is not the case. With the hose riled, uh, rolled up on a, on a hose reel lean against the house like most people do, it still gets very hot. So to prevent burns or injuries, here are some suggestions of things you should do. Make sure the water drains out. You know, when, when you're done using the water, shut the water off, let it bleed out. But the number one way to ensure that no water gets left in the hose when you're done with it is to unscrew it from the wall when you are done. And before you use the hose again, let the water run for a few minutes. Let that water from the ground at an 80 degree temperature, 85 deg uh, degree temperature, let it start cooling off. And it can take up to a minute or two before that hot water water escapes the hose. Reporting in Lafayette, Eric Zernick, KTC TV3. In Acadia Paris, the village